You know, again, in terms of the medical treatment that any one person gets, where they came from, you know, aside from specific risks that may be related to that particular location, um, I don't think that changes. However, we do um, diagnose and manage with, an, uh, with certainly with an eye towards getting people um, uh, the care that they need where they need it. And so we routinely spend a lot of time facilitating um, the transfer of these patients to another duty station closer to home um, and on the other side bringing them here uh, for some sort of definitive care uh, and treatment. Military medicine is always going to require a broad spectrum of musculoskeletal care. Uh, we provide um, musculoskeletal care that spans that spectrum from um, sports related injuries and overuse related injuries through common things like osteoarthritis and all the way to life-threatening um, complicated autoimmune disease. And so we have a piece of that pie that I think would be difficult to remove. Um, moving forward, uh, we have um, been working to expand our use of things like musculoskeletal ultrasound um, to try to play more of a role in managing common musculoskeletal conditions um, to be increasingly relevant to the readiness of the force. Well, the first thing I want to say is remember their service. They all have an amazing story to tell. And I, I really think that the, one of the huge perks of my job is that any question I ask, they'll answer. And they're full of amazing stories um, that they're very willing to share. And I think that um, their trust in you is, uh, can be enhanced by an understanding of where they came from. And I think as a military rheumatologist, that's what we offer, uh, is an understanding that it's very difficult to do the job that we've asked them to do when they have these specific conditions. Um, and understanding where they came from is I think the biggest thing that we have to offer. I think that here uh, it may be a bit different in as much as we're a uh, larger, we have a larger referral base. So we're routinely taking cases literally from around the world. Uh, most of military rheumatology will be the same um, in as much as, uh, you know, the military deploys worldwide and um, soldiers, sailors, airmen and marines want to come back to the place that they live to be treated and near the major medical centers uh, any military rheumatologist can help uh, make that happen. There may be subtle um, differences in terms of you know various risk factors for certain um, states that people may have based on their service, maybe their level of activity or maybe if they're a marine you may take that into consideration. Um, the biggest um, changes may deal with the way that the individual service administratively manages those uh, patients. Uh, from a physician-patient relationship, our primary concern is taking care of the patient and doing the right thing for them and giving them the care that they need. As a secondary concern, we assist with that administrative process and so we have expertise in um, managing those needs and answering those questions for the um, specific service that um, has asked.